I'm Debbie Cook. I am a certified public accountant. And one of the questions that we get a lot from our clients or from new clients, prospective clients is what should they use for an accounting software? What should they use to keep track of their books and records? And one thing that is becoming more and more popular each day is QuickBooks Online. One of the key things with that is the fact that the client or the individual business owner can use QuickBooks Online and then the accountant can also see it. You guys can both be in it at the same time. And so if they have questions, they can call you and ask the questions. You're able to see it also. And so it's a little bit of ease of use there. And then also if the client wants to be able to do certain parts of their books and records and then have the accountant do the other, then that also makes it a nice seamless process to where you're not bringing backups back and forth uh, between the business owner and the accountant. So what we want to do is we want to do a video series on how to use QuickBooks Online. We're going to start really simple. In fact, we're going to start with a basic setup of how to set up a client on QuickBooks Online. And then we can move through and see how you can link your bank accounts for a direct download, how you can reconcile your bank accounts. Um, we'll end up moving through at some point on how to set up vendors and pay bills, how to do invoices. And today we're going to take a look and see how to set up a QuickBooks Online client as the accountant. So your client comes to you, they want QuickBooks Online, you're going to set it up for them. So let's take a look on how that might look for you to do that. So we would go to our QuickBooks Online. As the accountant, you're going to have your own sign in. You're going to go to your client list and then you're going to go to add client. In here, you're going to be able to distinguish uh, what kind of access they're going to want. You're going to do their own business name. You're going to give access to the team that you want to be able to have access to. So I want to be able to have access to this company. If someone else in my office needed access also, I can show all of my team members and add them access. Here is where you're going to say what type of QuickBooks that you want. So we're going to go with the essentials at this point. Um, if you have someone that they're going to want to be able to track their 1099s, they have inventory, they need to be able to track, track their classes or their projects, you're gonna have to go with the plus. QuickBooks online, but that's the joy of this is you get to choose what level that you want. Um, this particular client doesn't have payroll right now, but just so you know, you can always come back and add that at a later time. So at this point, what would happen is it's then going to send that client an email for them to be able to set up access at that point. They can create their own login as the business owner so they can get into it. And then also, then you also have access to it as well at this point. And so if they want you to continue with the setup, then you can do that. We have some clients that they want us to do the whole setup. So we have some clients that just want us to get to this point and then they're going to go in and add their own bank account. They're going to add their own vendors. It just depends on what the relationship is between the accountant and the client. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and finish the setup for the client. So we can assign an industry. We're going to call this beauty salons. That's what we're going to go with right now. If you have been using QuickBooks at this point, you can go ahead and collect the, click that you have been using QuickBooks, but we're going to act as though this is a new client at this point that's never used QuickBooks. We, at this point, we just want to organize our expenses and we're going to be a sole proprietor. Okay, we are in. So right now we actually have nothing in here. I think that at this point, 
let's go with this and then that way we can start with a new video on whether the client wants to set up their bank account or the accountant or whoever wants to so that stay tuned for another video on how to go ahead and get your bank account set up because that is one of the most important things in the accounting world and a business owner is to make sure that your bank account is operating and you are keeping track of your income and expenses through that accurately. 